everyone, my name is Jane and I'm here at the Food to Eat Kitchen today celebrating the premiere of the Game of Thrones with traditional oat cakes and a special cookbook giveaway of A Feast of Ice and Fire which is inspired by, you guessed it, the Game of Thrones. We'll be giving away this cookbook to one special follower and you will have to stay tuned to see how you can get it and how to make the oat cakes. So these oat cakes are going to be very similar to rice cakes and they only require a few ingredients. So to get started, you're going to need roughly one cup of oats and I'm using instant steel cut oats, but whatever you have on hand should be fine. We're going to add that to a bowl, about a cup. And then I have a little bit less than a tablespoon of flour, all-purpose flour, and a pinch of salt. Then you want to just mix this together with your hands so it's well combined. So the next step is to add our butter. And we have here about two tablespoons of butter. So we've combined our oats with some butter and flour and salt. And now we have, of course, a bear of honey. And we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of honey. Mix this in quite well. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water to pull everything into a dough. So in the recipe, it suggests you make some oat cakes with berries separately and a few with nuts. I am making one third of the recipe since it's just me eating these. So I'm gonna do both berries and nuts and I think it's gonna be a delicious combo. So I have just about a handful of chopped nuts and I'm using almonds, peanuts, walnuts, whatever you have on hand will work. And then you can just add a berry of choice. I happen to have some blueberries so again just about a handful and be careful not to crush them up too much. So make an oat cake, kind of flatten it as much as you can. They were not concerned with how beautiful these were. Golden brown and sort of dried out and crispy. So here are my perfectly round and uniform oat cakes. As you can tell, they have a very rustic and natural look to them. So we're gonna put them in the oven and we'll see you back here in about half an hour. Stay tuned. So I've taken our traditional oat cakes out of the oven and as you can see, they kind of look like granola bars in the shape of cookies and we are going to drizzle them with a healthy dose of honey since we haven't added any sugar. And then we have a little bit of jam and we're just gonna put a dollop of any kind of berry jam that you like. Maybe just a little bit. And you can eat these on their own. You can pack these up as a snack to work you can make these for your Game of Thrones premiere party on April 6th, but I'm thinking that you're also gonna need to order some food to feed all of your friends. So, here's the deal. Anyone who orders from foodtoeat.com on April 5th or April 6th is entered to win a feast of ice and fire. So go figure out what you're gonna wanna eat and then when you're all done, check out dailyfoodtoeat.com for more great how-to videos. Bye everyone!